uh, it, it treats women better than Donald Trump. Uh, and that doesn't surprise me because the truth about the Clintons has been suppressed by the mainstream And media. that's why it's key to get your book and all this proven documentation out. Yeah, no, I think that's absolutely true. Look, uh, we know that when NBC had their chilling interview with Juanita Broderick, a woman who was raped and bitten by Bill Clinton in 1978 when he was attorney general, they sat that on, sat on that at, at NBC for weeks. And they, they weren't even sure they were going to run it. It was a very fine piece of television journalism by Lisa Myers. I invite anybody to go to YouTube and watch it. This woman is compelling. That's and we should all write articles yeah. about that report about Juanita Broderick. We should all bring that back up because yeah. to use a Hobbit analogy, uh, this could be the black arrow that brings down smog is the information in your book that's so well documented. Well, I, I'm hoping that is, that is the case. Uh, I do think that only Trump has the courage to, to continue to drive this home. Uh, plus, only Trump uh, would rebuild our military. Only Trump would uh, destroy ISIS and stop this pinprick nonsense. If we're going to engage, then let's engage with a strategy that can succeed. I'm not an isolationist. I'm a non-interventionist. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're going to crash and going to feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. interviewed a lot of people, and I've stuck in places like Bohemian Grove. I've been attacked at political demonstrations, been arrested many times. But I gotta say, this is probably the most surreal drive I've ever made to go meet someone that I'm gonna be interviewing. Louis Farrakhan. Our government has gone into nations with money from our Congress to stimulate the dissatisfied and then arm them against a government that is their government. That's what America did in Libya. That's what they're doing in Syria. And the blowback now is they have created a refugee 
crisis that is destabilizing the countries in Europe. So when Mr. Uh, Trump said, um, we can't uh, allow these Muslims refugees into America. Now, a lot of people were upset with him, but I know, um, sir, that the hatred for America in the Muslim world is building, as we told Mr. Bush, no Muslim leader could call for jihad and have it stick. No Muslim leader had the power to unite the whole Muslim world. I said, but America's policies will unite those people against the West, and it is happening. So in this way, Mr. Trump, I think, is wise to vet anyone coming from that area into America because the hatred for America is in the streets now. So if those people are refugees and America feels I got to let 10,000 of them in because America created the problem. Now, if you let them in and you don't vet them carefully, you might be letting in your own destruction. When we dialogue, we correct misperceptions, that is what makes Trump acceptable to so many white people who feel, damn, I can't be myself now. I can't say what I really feel, I'll pay a political price. So Mr. Trump says, to heck with that. I'll tell you what's on my mind. And that is freeing a lot of people that like what he is doing. So the politicians today, I, I looked at the many Republicans and Democrats that are trying to win the nomination of their party. And it says to me, you know, it's like a, I don't want to be vulgar, but it's like you, in any major city, you see women undressed, showing their wares for a John to buy them. And it's like politicians who don't have money, but have ideas and they parade themselves before rich and powerful people to get money apparently for their ideas that the rich agree with, but the moment that they become what they're looking to become, they find that the rich have an agenda for them, that the rich have something to ask of them like the John asks of the prostitute. And that's one of the things that I admire about Mr. Trump because he told them all, I don't want your money. And when a politician does not want money from the rich, he's freer than the others to really do good for the masses of the people. And I think that today uh, we are in the midst of the darkest hour in American history. And so if we don't make the right move with the right people at the right time, the America that we know, we're not going to see it become great again. In the few minutes that we have left, I want to put a bookend on Governor Abbott's call for restoring the rule of law. He makes some very broad and important points that I think it's, it's very important for the public to understand. First of all, we need to have some kind of fiscal responsibility in Washington. That's what his uh, call to have a balanced budget amendment is about. But understand that what makes the federal government irresponsible is the fact that they can print money, that they can borrow money without any limit with using the Federal Reserve. States don't have that capability. As a governor, uh, Governor Abbott understands that. 
But of course, it was John Maynard Keynes, creator of Keynesian economics, the court jester to uh, FDR's economic programs, that sold us on the lie that macroeconomics doesn't obey the same rules as microeconomics, that no matter how much money you borrow, if you borrow it from yourself, it doesn't really matter. And yet the reality is, is that we're not borrowing it from ourselves. We're printing it, we're borrowing it from other countries. That is the fundamental lie, and the Federal Reserve is really the mechanism by which they've done this. No budget uh, balancing amendment is really going to stop that. See, we can't really restate uh, the Ninth and Tenth Amendment as uh, his uh, seventh one does. He says, restore the balance of power between the federal and state governments by limiting the federal government to powers expressly delegated it into the Constitution. Well, that's the Ninth and Tenth Amendment. Are we going to put that back in there and say, and oh, by the way, this time we really mean it? See, the Constitution and any of these amendments are not self-enforcing documents. So we have to have the courage to stand up and do something about that. We have to understand that most of these uh, proposals that he has here, he's pointing out that the bureaucracies and the judiciary, especially the Supreme Court, are out of control, unaccountable, unelected to the American, by the American people. So we have to find some way to restore that. And his prescription in most of these amendments would be to have a two-thirds majority of the states to override what the bureaucracies are doing, what the Supreme Court is doing, what activist federal courts are doing. I would say this. We have a tool where one juror can override this on a case-by-case -case basis. We need to understand that we have powers that we're not even using. And that's a problem of ignorance of the American people. We need to have situations where we require the judges to inform the jurors of both their rights and the duties. They need to know what the prospective penalties are going to be if they find somebody guilty. So that's the situation that was behind Oregon. It wasn't just an out-of-control bureaucracy, but it was a jury that wrongfully convicted these people because they didn't know what the penalties were going to be, because they were told they could only judge the facts and not how the law was going to be applied. We had a judge there who revolted against the uh, obscenity of this mandatory minimum, calling these people arsonists and terrorists. He said, it offends my conscience, and yet it was overturned because of mandatory minimum. So we need to get rid of that. We need to require judges to tell the truth. We need to have honesty when we select the juries. We need to reclaim due process. You see, we have a situation now, we have a court system that really operates without justice, without mercy, without due process. We have the fiction that uh, when the government punishes you by stealing your property, they can call it a civil action and not a criminal action. No, civil action is what happens when two people, two citizens, s sue each other in court. A criminal action is when the government comes after you with penalties. So we need to remove those lies, but before we can, we need to look at some of the fundamental lies that are standing right in front of us, like the war on drugs, for example. And we had Debbie Wasserman Schultz called out for that, said, you know, what, why are you still supporting men, uh, marijuana prohibition of all things? And she said, well, you know, I do it for safety. We have to understand that at the time we had the alcohol prohibition amendment, everybody understood the federal government had no authority. They knew what the Constitution was about. That's why we have those two amendments, to make it illegal and to make it legal again. We have to restore respect and understanding of what the rule of law is. So we don't have a constitution problem. We have a problem with criminals in Washington. Well, that's it for tonight's news. Uh, if you're not a Prison Planet TV subscriber, please consider supporting our operation. Well, join us again tomorrow. We'll be back at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern for the nightly news. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.